Talk about the power of the solicitor. The power of the solicitor. Um, so there's all kinds of solicitors. Uh, one is a friend. Uh, one is the the CEO with whom there's a relationship, or the or the physician who you are grateful about. And then there are the prestige solicitors. So um, when I would walk into a room with Robert Wood Johnson IV, Woody Johnson, who owns the Jets, right? Um, well, people sort of uh, sat up straighter and they listened uh, more. And they had a way of saying yes to when we asked him for, for a gift, even, even though they may never have met him before. Huh. Or me. Huh. They, they had been warmed up and cultivated by somebody else. And we are the ones who came in and did the solicitation. Another example is uh, those of you who know Pittsburgh, there's something called the Duquesne Club. Yeah. And there's something called the Queenan Room in the Duquesne Club. Well, I sat with Chuck Queenan as donors came in every half an hour to meet with us, who we had never met before, but they were cultivated through the local chapter of this organization. And we just chatted briefly, asked them for six or seven figure gifts. They, they said yes, and we thanked them and they left. <laughs> we'd, we'd raised two and $3 million at a sitting because of the prestige of Chuck Queenan in the yeah. Queenan Room in the Duquesne Club it is powerful. Uh, not to under, undermine the importance of the, all the cultivation that went on ahead of that. Uh, to be sure, it wasn't, we were not magical. It's just the, the confluence of circumstances uh, is important uh, to, to calculate in your decision about making, having gift conversations. 